So in today's video I'm gonna be working again on my laurel. The plan for today is to bleed brakes and on a clutch and basically have a first drive. So I pulled out my 240 out and I'm gonna be pulling in with the laurel into the garage so I have a flat spot to jack the car on, put in a jack stand and bleed the brakes. Okay, so I'm gonna try and pull the car into the garage. All I have is the e-brake, the clutch doesn't work, brakes are gone, and it's a small incline, so <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and the fan doesn't turn off, the controls are gone. like it's misfiring again but okay let's see I'm gonna give it a try and try to pull into backwards so I'd have a better view shit damage boom we're good no damage awesome nice you know the car runs and drives now so that was basically the first drive ever with no brakes and clutch <laughs> oh yeah uh, everything is fine awesome So the Laurel is on jack stands. I went to Riley real quick, bought some brake fluid, bought a wrench, and bought a bleeder bottle. So what you do first is you fill it up the reservoir fully with the brake fluid, and then you go from the furthest side from the master cylinder to the closest side to the master cylinder. And you might need some help. I'll ask my mom to pump it up for me. Um that's pretty much it there. Is it? So I'm done working on the brake system. The brakes are bled. Everything is fine with it, but while I was bleeding the clutch slave cylinder, I ran into a problem with the master slave. It's pretty much done, it's not creating any pressure. So I uh, hopped on the internet, I ordered a new one for $80, all I have to do is wait 2-3 days for it to arrive, change it and we're gonna be good with brakes. So, 
car is coming back together I'm gonna have to clean up some space for my 240 because I don't want to leave it outside someone might steal it yep uh, we'll see you in two three days so it's been almost a week since I last worked on a laurel I placed an order for a new part for a new master cylinder it finally came in it took me like a week I hope this thing is gonna fit yes it is a brand new part from Nissan shout out to Terra Firm right here brand new and I don't have to swap it with S14 or 241 so awesome but before I'm gonna install it I need to finish working on my 240 my power steering line blew out I've made a new one all that's left is throw in a belt and secure the piping and that's pretty much it so here it is film a video later on it but this line has erupted and covered the whole engine bay with oil I've replaced it and yeah Attention, it's too light, too light. So talk to me, boy. Okay, now we're good. I was gonna have to do is tighten it up. Now we're golden. Okay, and all that's left is an intercooler pipe, right there, and an intake pipe, just carbon, Amazon special, 50 bucks. Most likely I burned my old pump. The good thing is that I do have a spare one, but it's probably gonna be project for another week. Cause I don't wanna take it apart again. And I have to go to the shop to pick it up because I have it at my brother's shop. It's in a big stash of two foot parts. But car feels nice. I've missed driving it. This thing is not registered, this is only a drift car. So, 
time to work on this one. So for the last couple of hours, I've been trying to remove that brake line, that brake like the clutch line off of the master safe cylinder to replace the cylinder. But it slid on me, so I don't have any more grip, even though I've used a proper flare wrench. Uh, so I'm just gonna order new fittings and a new AN line and just that'll be easier than messing with that or trying to fix that so yep i guess i'll see you in the next video